Hi everyone, it's Jerry. I'm going to hop into this hourly Super Blitz Arena 57 minute event of 3.0, a couple IMs in here. They logged in, they're logged in. All right, let's see who we get in round one. Okay, Morphe Chess. Let's go into Sicilian land. Okay. Go with A4. Retain some flexibility with my D pawn for the moment. I guess that's short lived. I don't think I'm going to play D4. I'm shooting for a quick e E5. I want to break up this group. Be taking with the A pawn if the captures, okay. Trying to work on this knight. Okay. Play D3. Bishop F4. I like the open file. Am I asking for trouble if I play here? Um. Bishop F4, Bishop D3. Here... And, yeah, I should be okay. Let's start with this. I'm going to have mass exchanges, I'm guessing. That's what I'm signing up for, at least, with bishop f4. If bishop d6, we're probably going to have all of these exchanged. I'll end up with the rook on this square. Pressure on the pawn. I like the end game with two rooks and the knight. A piece. Chopping away. And here we are. Expecting the queen exchange. Maybe rook. Rook f to c8 is a, another move. In the ending, I'll probably go, be going with this one. Okay, I didn't expect that. Uh, it's getting, they're giving up this square, so now I have this idea. Knight b6 is possible. Okay, it seems like I'm going to be winning a pawn. This knight's under control. The knights are offset. It's a superior structure for white. Okay, so they're probably going for... I mean, I don't have to take right now, but I don't see why not. Oh, didn't see that one coming. What's the story exactly, though? Okay, let's... Let's actually go one step. Yeah. Okay. Um, do I keep sneaking over? I guess. I don't want to jump in here too soon cuz the knight's knight's going to hop here. I don't know this this crossed my mind these moves. If I move this knight, I'm a little concerned about this knight getting to maybe that square. Okay, so let's let's control these. Okay. I feel like I could break this down a little bit more now. Let's go with the b4. Maybe I could even think about moving my knight and playing b5, have a connected passed pawn. If black tries to maintain the tension. Okay, so... Even right here, I think this is desirable, because now this frees up my rooks to go elsewhere. And where should elsewhere be? Let's start with going here. Just generating a threat. And let's go with this one. Nice little pawn chain. And let's regroup a little bit. I'm going to have to play some defense. Rook e3. I'm going to look to next open up a file on the king side. I'm not behind on the clock. So let's start with the h-pawn. Not concerned about my rook getting trapped. There's no black pawn that can control both of these squares. Okay. Good try. Okay, let's go here. 
You just want an open file to get at this point. Queen side is shut down. So just looking for one key pawn break. I want to stay out of this. <laughs> one little trick. Okay. So I have a pawn break here. Maybe I don't even need a pawn break. Let's get this one in though. I could have played this one actually. Okay. Could play it now. Or well, let's just go here. Got that. Safety first. Guess we'll grab another pawn. I'll see why not. Let's go for this idea. Get this file. This is the new seventh rank. The check, checkmate that would be actually. It's not the cleanest approach what I'm doing here. Will be enough though. <laughs> yeah, it was a bit sloppy there at the end. Okay. Round one is in the books. Is in first. A six and a five. I won't be doing any berserking. All right. I am in round two. Okay. Nimzo Indian. It's castle. And yeah, let's play in the center. All right. As soon as the White is kind of saying, I'm going to fiend keto. Some pressure on c4 is usually a good idea. Oh, this was probably a little sloppy. Allowing queen there. Okay. Could undo it. Get my bishop out of this problem. Queen b3 would x-ray two unprotected pieces. So now I'm in a spot to meet queen b3 with queen to b6. Let's go. Let's go here. Knight d6 is tactically vulnerable. Or excuse me, knight d7 instead of queen to e7. My bishop would be hanging. I got take here, no time for the in-betweener. They hit me with an in-betweener. I'm cool with this move. Uh, let's go with this one. Meeting queen b3 with... Queen b4, that was my idea. So let's play on this side. See if the h pawn scares them at all. Not too concerned about this knight. Should I be? Um, let's just go here for a minute. Queen e7. There's, there's pressure, queen b3, okay. Yeah, that's making me wonder if I should have played maybe h4, but all right. Let's go here. <sighs> Remove uh, an important defender. My king is, or my knight is closer to my king. Okay. Don't really have much choice. Getting forked. So rook specific ending. How could two pieces pile up on this? I'm not seeing how. So let's go here. Watch out for the e4 break. There aren't many breaks left in the position. Okay. So they are going with this. Okay, yeah, and this rook could even slide over here. I think I need to take. And it feels like it's very drawish. I guess I'll take once. It feels very drawish. I think all these are going to be exchanged. Queen side pawns. We'll see. Maybe a queen exchange? All right, that one. So this here, there. 
I'm worse, if anything. Yeah. yeah. I have to just try for a draw. I don't think I have anything better. Uh, yeah, have that one. Okay. Babysit for a little bit. Try and be a little irritating to the king. Don't want him getting activated. That's... Okay, so now I think they have to hide. Okay, because now I get this maneuver, and my rook is all of a sudden that aggressor, and I win the b pawn. So uh, I'm the one who's now playing for a win. Interesting decision here. Okay, I think I need this guy still around as shelter. Okay. There's these stalemate tricks. Okay, yeah, there's these stalemate tricks. Yikes. All right. Which pawn do I take first? I guess this one. It's not a... It's checkmate if they go there. Okay. Or no, actually, it's a... It's a fairly simple win. Yeah, I just push this guy all the way here and just keep running with this guy. Forgetting about this. So the king has to hide now. I could just go here. If he ever comes out, he gets hit with a check. No stalemates. I just zigzag. Oh, I missed that idea. Guess it's a little bit more complicated. Yeah, still he can't he can't sneak out so easily. Yeah. Couple t a couple tempi ahead. Oh. Mouse slipped there or something. Okay, enough gas in the tank. That was sloppy. <laughs> uh They need to be a little bit more careful with the F-pawn, I think. As soon as they played F4, I started to get excited there. They need I, I think they needed to hide with their king. King H3. And then it was... I don't think we could, either side can make progress. It was the one idea. Really turn the tables going from passive... A rook going from a passive to an active state. All right, got four. Wow, this is really flying by. Some long games. Okay, let's try B3. So why not? Okay. Let's go with 92. And I'm going to shoot for f4. That's why I'm going to the atypical square. Right, is this pawn not up for grabs? I think it is. There's no fancy counters with a check or anything or some coordination with the bishop. It's it's a big pawn and a big rook at the end of the day. Okay, they resigned. I miss the queenside fiend kiddo. All right, this is the number two guy. All right, let's hit d4 head on. And well, let's hop in, see how they react. Preserve the bishop. Okay, I like my position. Yeah. What what do I like about it? I like that I have a healthier structure. Not healthier, just slightly superior 
fourth rank versus third rank C pawn. Nothing, nothing special. But uh, it's comfortable. Equal at least here for black. All right. I'm going to take a timeout to flick in the flight square now. This, knight g5, I'd have to create two holes. It's g6. Okay. I'm going to go here to stop the idea of playing e4. Let's build my center. Maybe continue to build it. They seem like they're in the, the trading mood. I'm cool with that. I have an open file. Okay, what's a good approach in this rook ending? If this, I'll be kicked right away. Not accepting a draw offer. Let's go here. Or, no, nah, let's improve the king. I'm not sure where the rooks belong. In fact, let's stop this break. Maybe just continue to grab space on the king's side. Yeah, let's do that. I'm not sure what, how to arrange these pawns, really. Let's go here. Mm, no, let's go here. In case this, I have that. And then I'm covering all those fourth rank squares. This is a move. Okay, they're shooting for this one. Maybe maybe I go here now. Watching out for the pawn breaks. I think I think I want one rook off now. My king is going to feel a little bit more comfortable approaching the center. I have space. Okay. So, how do we want to approach this? We want to go faster. <laughs> okay. Let's take here. We're really down on the clock. Let's get a little more space. Rick wants to be somewhere else. Probably shouldn't have allowed that break. Now it feels like a draw. Oh, I'm allowing that rook activity. Okay, I have some activity, though. All my pawns are isolated, though. <laughs> but my rook is wild. Oh. Didn't see that one. They could create the outside passer. Okay. They're under def the defensive, though. King up, I have this. Just trying to create a connection point where my rook could camp out here. Should have maybe flicked that one in. Whoa. That was a big miss. That wasn't a mouse slip either, because... Why would they want to go here? Forgetting my rook was there. Kind of bizarre. Okay. They're putting the pressure on me. The clock. Uh... I think there was still chances to make some, uh, to make life difficult for my opponent in that in that ending. My king felt a little more comfortable than theirs. All right, let's see, A chop on c4 or not? Hmm. All right. I can't go to g5. Let's back off now. I like my position. Exchange my bad bishop. Again, a case of fourth rank versus third rank c pawn. Worthwhile to jump in and play a four. Nah. Let's just keep it as is. I don't want to change the structure. I'm hoping they take here before my bishop moves. 
seems like a healthy move. Okay, so they're going for e5 break. Um, castle, and I'm going to take on an isolated pawn. I want to control this guy. I like that I get this tempo in. Pawn is pinned, so this would be a nice move to see. <laughs> okay, let's go here right now, because they're probably trying to offset my bishop. Okay, I don't mind that one. Hmm... Actually, maybe I do mind that. Okay, let's go with this. Yeah, I need to take some care over this pawn. Let's take with this. Stay defending here. Two rooks? Okay, no. No two rooks situation for the queen. Let's improve the king. Knight f6, queen e5. Now yeah, let's try this. Be taking with the pawn. Okay. Oh, that isn't that isn't a blunder. Okay. Really don't want to trade, but I think I have to. Yeah, I need to hurry over here. Oh, I'm just realizing my rook is defended, so these moves are not there. What is it with these rook and pawn endings? <laughs> we got another one here. Not sure exactly where my rook is going. I guess I wanted to stop rook a h5. These moves are irritating. I think my king is there in time to weather the storm. Let's actually start with this. A5, I'm expecting. Yeah. If I played here before B4, I get hit with C5. Not sure how to assess this. King F5 sneaking in. It's sort of scary. Probably flick this one in. If king f5. Feels like it would be a draw if the rooks are exchanged. Okay, they're giving me a target. Maybe... Let's just give this check first. Have them make a decision. Okay. I feel like I'm a little better now. Slightly improved... Uh, with the king or the rook position. And do I chop? I think I chop. And put this rook on a the most active square. Okay. How do I make progress? I don't know that this is progress. I'm going to try to go after this pawn. There is some distance between these two base points, g5 and c6. Should I even be trying to um, win by position with the clock situation? <laughs> the rook is tied down. King doesn't have many options. There is a bit of a wall formed. Again, all isolated pawns for me. My king could approach. Well, let's just do this for a quick test. I think they should flick in the check, yeah. That's an I'm not sure what to do move. <laughs> Rook here, maybe there. Okay. Let's give this check. Mate? Uh, 
Oh, what am I doing? This is one king and pawn ending. Yeah. Okay. Wow. A lot of these are coming right down to the ending. How many? There's like three of them. Yeah, what's with it? Three of the games are... Uh, I'm just getting... I just, I'm getting berserked in this one. Three of the five games are Rook and Pawn endings. Okay, let's take some care over d5. That's a hole. I'm guessing they're going for queenside castles, so. All right, let's clamp down on the g3 idea. And let's go here. I don't know if I want to play with b5. Yeah. Let's go with this. Why why don't I want to play with B5? It's because I'm a little concerned about like some knight in here, a knight connecting on this square. I'm concerned about the the hole created on C6 when I play B5. I was just ready to run into a fork. Okay. This knight is actually irritating. Right, let's go here so that this is not yet a move. Can't take with the queen because of rook takes. Put pressure here. Maybe, maybe now I'm thinking about going here. Or... Or what? Maybe I just go here. Let's go one step. Okay, gotta go. I have to challenge that queen. Another ending. Rook up and over. And I'm gonna have the more active rook. Okay, they're on the defensive. I don't think my rook's getting trapped. Okay. Um, let's go. Not sure what I'm supposed to do here. Let's try this one. My king could step up. Slight improvement. Let's see if they exchange. I could go for maybe a break there. Okay. Another rook and pawn ending. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I want to be in a spot to challenge. The more active rook. Cut off the king. Improve my own king. Uh, actually, I could start to pry at these pawns a little bit. Let's go this direction. I got this covered. The king in the center... This rook is tied down. Yeah, they're not sure what to do. I'm not sure what to suggest for him. This is a pretty clean plan. Let's go here. We go here if the rook moves. Okay. Um. Let's try this. Got a passer now. This one restricts these two. A check. Another check. The rook really can't move so easily. Oh, got the mate. All right. <laughs> Four out of the six games. Rook and pawn ending. Holy cow. Only 27 minutes left. Time flies by with these super super blitz arenas. 
349 in there. Oh, this is the top dog. A berserk. Okay, let's let's go with the berserk back. So a bullet game flicked into the super blitz arena. Uh, let's wait for them to address the pin before going here. I guess I'll take now. I think. Okay. Fancy. If I play here, is that going to be complicated for you? My calculations are correct. Got two problems after knight takes c6. There and here. Okay. Oh, I'm not threatening this. What am I doing? Okay. Let's go here. Oh, I just blundered. This knight takes here. I have this, maybe. Yeah, good eye. Good eye. Another in-betweener. Can't take, can't take with this rook. Another rook and pawn ending. <laughs> okay, they're not going for that. I guess let's just scare this queen into taking my bishop. They're not taking the bishop. Why not? Okay, now they're taking. Rook and pawn ending. My pawn cannot be caught. Okay. Ideal spot for the rook. Get behind instead of pushing. I want to make sure I establish this position first. Oh, I shouldn't have stepped there. That was bad. <laughs> We're just going to try to get all rook and pawn endings. That's all. That's the big plan. Wow. I don't know if I've ever had this many games like this. What is that? Losing track. Five out of the seven? I've played seven games? I think five of them are rook and pawn. All right, I'm one point back. Charlie, let's go with e4. Carlos, Carlos, 99, is in first. All right, I don't mind if I go uncastled. Uh, let's get some space. It's extra appealing now that it hit with tempo. Let's maintain the pawn structure. Uh, let's go with this baby move. Yeah, I want to force the hand of the, the C pawn. So now we're in a maneuvering situation. Let's cut out a quick g5 expansion. I want this guy here. It takes a while, but... Or, or does it? No, it doesn't. I was thinking I have to pivot on this square. I was ready to blunder my bishop as well. Okay. Let's start with this one, or... Yeah, let's start with this. Yeah, they're going for a5. Hmm.
Oh, I was thinking I have to take okay, let's go with let's go with the pawn. Let's go with the pawn. I don't want to give this guy like I don't want to exchange queens and I don't want to be in a position where this is available. Um I don't know. Oh, they're 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 lining up a trick there. Let's get castled to get off of this diagonal. I'm really down on the clock. I try to make progress here. Oh, they're going for a sacrifice. Okay. Yeah, you got a point. My knight is kind of stupid. Let's see if we can get some trades. I won't I don't mind if they capture here, because then maybe my queen could do something on the dark squares. I don't know. Going for this third pawn, I guess. Let's try and be active. As possible with the queen. Okay. Put pressure on the pawn. This is more about a... This is more of a defensive move. I don't even know how I'm supposed to activate my pieces. Um... Maybe my knight. No, no wonderful discoveries for uh, for the bishop just yet. Hmm. Pressure here. Okay. Like, could I get a knight to one of these squares somehow? How about this maneuver? Okay, let's keep pressure on something. I feel like I'm going to be needing to sacrifice peace soon. To stop one of these guys. If they ever get moving. If my king was more active towards the queen side, I could be more comfortable exchanging queens and putting the king here. But I'm not there just yet. I don't know. Maybe maybe I could do something here. I feel like I might want to sacrifice if they push this guy. I was expecting them to play this for, for a bit. Just trying to be as irritating as possible. I've not seen any possible sacrifices with uh, my bishop. I think I should be able to track this pawn down. I like my queen's a nice blockader. My knight's doing a good job defending d4. They're down on time. Okay. Let's maybe go for this maneuver. Bishop c2. Hmm. Oh, they moved, uh, moved the king. Oh, dark squares. Should be something good. Oh, it's hanging. It's running mate. Got the rook coming over. Oh, my bishop was on that. No stalemates. Get out of here, Bishop. Oh, 
Man. It was not easy. Tough to make progress there. It was an interesting sacrifice. Interesting. Um, yeah, whenever there's that, that pawn that is in your house like that, what they have? They had a pawn on c4. So the sacrifices that eliminate pawns and help that pawn become mobile. And they, it's tough. They were connected and passed. Not easy. Okay, I'll be moving with my queen soon, out of harm's way. Oh, that moon. A knight's in a pin. All right, I don't mind if this is played and they try and damage my pawns. Okay, now's the time to get out of harm's way. Definitely do not want to allow the knight to track down my dark square bishop. This may be a move at some point, taking advantage of an unprotected queen, but not now. She's defended. Is there a way to get at the rook? Not really seeing it. Security for. And I guess here I'm I'm prepared to dive into this square at some point. Or yeah. You know, let's prep B4. Grab some space. Okay. So my idea is this and then to have this file. But oh, that dropped when I didn't want it to drop, but that's my mouse acting up. Okay. Is this too slow of an idea? Here, here, and then this. I want to get off of this diagonal. Okay. It's a bit weakening to do this, but I want to stop a G4 advance for at least a move. Okay, let's go here. I was thinking about this in here. That drops h3. Not so fast. So everything is with this setup is pointing at the knight jump. And I probably should go ahead for that, or do I play this? No. Nah. Probably just jump in. This isn't even a threat, because I'm on that one. Definitely taking towards the center. Okay. Ducking the knight exchange. Let's see if they're scared. This move. <laughs> that's the perfect, that's the kind of reasoning you should always use. Let's just see if they're scared. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, let's go here and work on this square. Oh, they're taking. This knight is tremendous. Has a huge grip on these, these two pawn advances, so. So, so what? Let's go here. Maybe put all my energy on d6. And then maybe this, and then that. Would not find a queen exchange. Let's stop the break. If the h file opens up, this king is not going to feel comfortable. Okay, so much for that. It's shut down on the king side. And let's hop in. And I'm going to go here just to tuck my king away a little bit. And nearby this, I'm ready to go ahead and smash away. And it seems like I'll probably end up winning a queen with my rooks. It's like everything is on the second rank, first or second rank, so. Got forks. 
7th and 8th rank rooks with this knight around, and my bishop is a good guardian for my king. Okay, that I did not expect. Okay, this bishop is under control by my... Well, let's, let's start with the capture. Okay. Hmm. To be a bit careful. My back rank now. Okay, this was not the cleanest approach. I shouldn't have captured here. I should have went with my rook, my instinct here, rook c8. Might be asking for trouble. Okay. Whoa, where's my time? Whoa. Don't hurt me. Oh my goodness, barely won that. What an ugly ending. Yuck. <laughs> I had rooks in the end. Oh. Oh man. I shouldn't have captured on c5. I was just commenting that I need my bishop around to secure my king. So with the capture on c5. Yeah. My bishop was no longer going to be around. As Mr. Defender. All right, so what do we what do we have here? An exchange or not exchange? We have a French defense. Okay, advanced French. Okay. I guess here. I don't know how to play this. D4 Right. Let's try and get rid of this knight. He's a great defender, a great piece. Attacker and defender. Hmm. Let's go for this, actually. Change my mind. Allowing me to take that dark square bishop. I don't know that I even want it. Let's just go here. I like my knight on f5. Okay. Can't win a pawn, because I'm taking here and then recapturing. Oh, that's a, that's a very uh, interesting follow-up. So I should probably take like this, and then go here. Oh, I did not expect that one. All right. Um, let's not get into time pressure here. I'll we'll go here, I guess. I want to I want to kick this knight away. Oh. I could push here. I wanted I wanted this and then bishop there. Okay, so now I should be taking and then taking here. This knight's a bit clumsy. This knight, however, not clumsy. Let's scare this guy. Definitely do not want to take that knight. 
Or I, I could have. I could have considered that. With bishop b5 as the follow-up. Two bishops versus two knights. I want to try and target pawns on dark, because well, what else am I supposed to do? Hmm. Let's go here to stop rook b3 for a minute. This also crossed my mind. Okay, knight there. Um, rook and pawn ending. <laughs> no, don't want it. How are they defending this? Wow. Knight has to go here? Making progress now. Wow. Oh, they have that attack. Let's come all the way back. My time. Oh, man. I don't even know what that's doing. Maybe I should have challenged this truck much sooner. Time, time, time. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Oh, I wanted that. I don't know if I should have gone like this. Am I going to sneak into C6? I can't move. Rook gets trapped. Oh, oh, oh. I should have played here. What am I doing? Hopefully they don't play Rook A8. <laughs> Gotta go. Wow. Chalk it up. <laughs> we got some ugly games here at the end. Oh, man. All right, let's see if we could hang on to second. First is not happening. This game may not even finish for the tournament. 37. Okay. Let's try E4. Final one. And let's go bishop c4. I made this error recently. The fork trick is not there when the bishop's on c4. <laughs> In a blitz game. All right, overtaking the center. And let's keep going. This. It's kind of tricky to untangle now. I feel like I could get this pawn whenever I want, so. I'd prefer to take it with a different piece, like a bishop. Instead of the queen, like I'm expecting a queen to be kicked around. Okay, so we could maybe still... <laughs> the d6 may return. This knight could also get caught. So knight a5, bishop there, and now this is a threat. I don't know how you save the knight. This is probably nearby too, Greek gift stuff. 
Okay. And if I plant this guy here, what's the story? Follow up B4. And this guy is officially cooked. Oh, I'm in third to try and get this one in. That could always stall. Minute 39. Silver or bronze? Let's see. Okay. Where am I vulnerable? This knight's unprotected with B4, but... Yeah. Okay. Uh, I was thinking this first, but... Let's do this right now. And my knight. Maintaining a piece on this square clogs up the entire queen side. Yeah, so now there's two, two problems. Too many. Maybe even before I take the knight, I swipe this guy. Just so I don't have to worry about the knight being irritating on f4. But... Even so, there's nothing there. This is a good defense. Um, okay, I'll take. It's not going to count. Can I feel like I don't even want to take that knight. All right, I guess I'll take him now. Put the queen in the center. I'm not concerned about these sacrifices. There's nothing to follow up with. Okay, my knight is hit. It's also coordinated pressure on F3, but... Pawn here, connect knights. You go here, offer a queen exchange. If it's declined, I get in d6, clogging up the queen side, and by this point, win the rook. If b6, maybe smothered mate ideas. These guys are too good. One's an extra. Okay. I guess here. It's not easy to create a flight square either because of this knight. Okay. Oh, that's what they were doing. I could go in for this. I should have played this instead of the... Um... Rook move to e1. Is there a flashy way to finish? Seems like a good way. Queen here. Yeah. Okay. Not the cleanest games around. In the end, third with 37. And we didn't get a pairing. Both ended up on 100%. All right, let me throw a good games all. It's been a while since I hopped in one of these while recording locally. All right, good games all. And yeah, feel free, as usual, to leave any feedback to this video in the comment section below. Hope you enjoyed it and maybe took a thing or two away. Probably something related to Rook and Pawn endings. Anyhow, that's all for now. Take care. Bye.